I think trigger warnings are usually cringe, however. <laughs> right, this, this, this is really, really bad, right? So for like 99% of you people out there, like you're, you're probably not going to be able to handle this. This is bad. This is really bad. So just, just be ready before we continue with the video. Expert astonished that victims of child sex abuse ring weren't saved sooner. I'm not astonished. It seems an awful lot of that flies under the radar. The trial held multiple witnesses uh, has concerns about the children involved in the Glasgow child sex abuse ring, which seems to have been like partly satanic. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mixing up my child sex rings. You know, there's so many these days that it's very easy to get them confused. Uh, the first minister had said that, that lessons will be learned from a comprehensive review into the neglect and abuse of four children in a squalid Glasgow drug den. Seven pedophiles were convicted of a string of horrific sexual crimes following a nine-week trial at the city's high court. Ian Owens, 45, Elaine Lannery, 39, Leslie Williams, 41, Paul Brannan, 41, Barry Watson, 47, Scott Forbes, 50, and John Clark, 46, memorised those, uh, were found guilty of rape and sexual assault. The charges against them included making... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, an, eighth, uh, an eighth accused Marianne Gallagher was found guilty of assault. It was revealed in court that there had been concerns about the children for several years before action was taken. A child sexual abuse expert has told STV News, what a, what a thing to be an expert in. <laughs> that must be the most blackpilling fucking job ever. I want to know the suicide rate for this job. I want to know the suicide rate for this job. Uh, has told STV News that she is astonished that the children were not taken into care quicker. Because one of the weird things about uh, the Scottish government is uh, see if the parents are very, very right wing. The government sees that as a very deep concern. Did you know that? That gets marked on your file. Uh, however, you know, if they're literally being molested by a giant ring of paedophiles, then not so much. It's weird that. It's very strange. Throughout the trial, the jury heard from multiple witnesses who had concerns about the children. Neighbours said that they'd seen them begging while support workers spoke of having access to the youngsters blocked or limited. Teachers told the court of lice infestations, poor hygiene and rotting, rotten teeth. Like, I'm sorry, how many, how many more red flags do you need? Like, never even mind all the nonsense stuff, like, that alone is just the sheer absolute signs of neglect. Like, why wasn't there intervention at that point? Uh, child protection expert Dr. Sarah Nelson said there are major questions to be answered about how and why these children were left in the hands of their abusers, despite so many concerns being raised. What was another incident that happened with that happened with something like this, where there was just a gigantic mountain of red flags, yet nothing was done about it? Was it Baby P? Baby P, that's what they called the baby, is like, you know, a, a pseudonym. But I believe it was Baby P. I, I think that's what it was, but I remember that caused a shitstorm back in the day because there was every red flag ever and, a ba and basically the child eventually died due to abuse and neglect. It was just absolutely disgraceful. Uh, and it seems it's happened again. Like, there's just no protection for children. It's weird that when it comes to grooming gangs. It's strange that, isn't it? One of the common things about grooming gangs is uh, they sometimes, you know get a little bit dark here but they sometimes pimp the children out that's just a thing that they do uh, i wonder who was using such a service i wonder who was using such a service to the point where the government just didn't act on it at all you know what i mean but anyway, Child Protect, uh, in fact, I've just read that. Uh, I'm astonished, really, Dr. Nelson, who was awarded an OBE for her work on behalf of survivors of childhood sexual abuse, told STV News. I think we have to look further back than the sexual abuse and say that it's absolutely remarkable to me that children showing such dramatic signs of neglect, teachers being incredibly alarmed about it, were left in that environment for so many years. Ordinary people and professionals want to know why on earth this wasn't spotted much sooner when it was in plain sight. A major review is underway with the police, education and social care bodies all taking part. Part of that review will look at the huge amount of information collected during the investigation. Any lessons that should be learned absolutely have to be learned, said First Minister Hamza Yusuf. I'm, certain, I'm certainly going to be asking for further details from our partners in Glasgow Health and social care and other partners. Uh, more on this story. But yeah, I'm kind of, I skipped, right, I skipped the nitty gritty details and I'm kind of happy the article didn't go any deeper because 
I, who wants to hear that, right? But the fact that this flew under the radar for so long and there was just like, basically like, just extreme signs of neglect, never mind all the horrific like sexual and physical abuse, just extreme signs of neglect where the kids should have been taken to the side and went, hey, bi hey big guy, what the fuck's going on? Right, and it's just a case of see if something bad is happening to you, we will take you away right now because that's the way it works. You know, mum and dad used to do foster care. As soon as a, as soon as a kid basically says, "I'm being sexually abused" or "I'm being physically abused," a lot of abuse is happening in my house. Boom, that's it. That's it. It's not probable cause. There's another word for it, but basically, whoop, the kids get taken away. That's it. The police get called in. Why wasn't that done? And why? Was this able to continue for years? That's the part that worries me very deeply. Why was this able to continue for years? Maybe someone was benefiting from it. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. I'm just spitballing. I'll take my tinfoil hat off. And uh, But anyway, uh, lots of people in Scotland uh, know me. Like, you know, like, Scotland's a small place. Most of you probably have family members who are in jail. Uh, look, look at these people. It'd be really awful if someone handed these pictures <laughs> this family I mean, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that. It's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. But they get papers in prison. Newspapers that might have these pictures printed on them. Anyway, that's the end of the video. <laughs>